Hi, I'm Nash Lin, and thank you for watching ilearntoanimate.com. Okay, so this is the bouncing ball rig that we have got. Um, before we start, we got to do a little bit of adjustment. When we create animation, we got to know what's the frame rate that we will be playing at. To edit the frame rate for Maya, you can actually click on this. This small little button on the bottom right hand corner. On this, this will set up, this will bring up the preference window. First, let's click on the, you can click on the settings. And you can see that currently it is set as 24 frames per second. This is acceptable. If you would like to change it to something more common, would be like PAL or NTSC depending on which country you are at. I personally prefer 25 frames per second. So once we are done with this, let's just save this. Secondly, if you are seeing this attribute editor, which we do not really need, all you can do is click on the channel box so that it reduces the size. And you can even reduce the size in the panel over here. So you have more space for your uh, for your view panel. Now moving on, um, currently this is the objects that we have we will be able to click. But when we are animating, we use only the rigs, which means the controller that you can see from here. The from the top view you can see it, there's a square controller and there's one hexagonal triangle uh, controller. To select only the controller, you can make the planes unselectable by clicking on this op uh, button over here, which is select surface objects. Okay, uncheck this, and in future we will not be able to select the op objects anymore. However, we can still select the the controller. And last but not least, I personally do not like to see so many grids. You can actually hide and unhide using the f function over here, which is grid. Uncheck this, and you will not be able to see the uh, grid over here. Okay, to turn it on, you can always turn it on back over here. Okay, so let me just turn it off for now. And I can show this. Basic navigation in Maya is using command. Okay, to do so, hold down command in this win move your mouse in this window, hold down command, and left mouse click and drag, and you will be able to rotate the view. To look at the object in different angle by holding down the command and use middle mouse and drag you will be able to pan your view on the object on the 3d world and you can also use your middle mouse scroll button to zoom in and out or you can also hold down command and right mouse Click, hold and drag front, forward and backward to zoom in and zoom out. Okay. The next important navigation is using the space bar. When you move your mouse onto this, this panel and press down space bar, it will full screen on this panel for you to have a better view. To go back to the four panel view, press spacebar again. And this time around, if I want to look at the side view, I can move my mouse inside within the, this panel and press spacebar again. This will show me the uh, side view in full screen. Alright, now let me explain a little bit more on the rig that I've created. If you look from the top view, let me just off the grid again. 
when we look at it from the top view, you can see that there's a circle. This is named as the ball main. Okay, this is the main controller that will enable you to move the whole animation or the whole uh, controller with the ball. Alright, Control Z to undo, just in case you're not sure. And the second hexagonal controller is the controller that allows you to do your translation animation. Okay. Translation animation means you are translation means movement. So when you move, you can see that translation over here changes in value. Okay. And the last smaller square on the inside allows you to ro do rotation animation. You can see on the right hand side also when I do when I rotate the value changes and also um, you can do scaling with this with this controller. can do scaling with this controller. Alright, now why do I actually separate the tr the translation and the rotation into two different controller? This is because I will able to see that um, the keys are not overlapping when I'm doing the key framing so along this timeline over here. Later on, you will, sh you will know what I mean. Okay, um, this is actually to make sure that your keyframes are easier, slightly easier to manage. You do not 